y'all need to take cover right now because Drake's beef with half of the industry is getting messier and messier as the days go by. At first, we thought it was just his beef with Metro Boomin and Future, but the next thing we knew, Kanye West hopped onto the drama and shaded Drake. Then Kendrick Lamar got involved and dropped some of the craziest diss tracks that we have heard in a long time in the hip hop industry. But his beef with The Weeknd has to be the craziest one right now. I mean, sure, Kendrick exposed him and dragged him for filth, but The Weeknd allegedly took it a step further and put out a hit on Drake. Yeah, I know that The Weeknd is a quiet guy and lives a private low-key life, but everybody knows that it's the quiet ones that you really gotta watch out for because they are the most dangerous ones. If you're wondering why on earth The Weeknd would possibly want to put out a hit on Drake, it's because Drake allegedly put out a hit on someone on The Weeknd's team a few weeks ago. And if you're wondering why Drake would want to do that, it's because Drake and The Weeknd have beef. And it's not just them alone, their entire labels, I'm talking about OVO and EXO labels, have beef with each other. For those who don't know the tea, Drake and The Weeknd go together a long time back. In fact, when The Weeknd was just starting off in the industry, Drake was one of the first people who showed an interest in signing The Weeknd. I mean, everybody could see that he was a bunch of talent and would make it big in the industry. Actually, it was Drake's friend and collaborator, 40, who first met The Weeknd and then introduced him to Drake. Drake was interested in signing The Weeknd to his record label, OVO Records. So he and 40 took The Weeknd under their wing, even though they didn't sign him immediately. However, they continued to work together and Drake helped to groom The Weeknd's career. The Weeknd played a very important part in Drake's 2011 album, Take Care, and he helped write at least four songs on the album. But the crazy part is that for the longest time, Drake didn't really give The Weeknd full credit for his work on the album. In fact, we didn't know just how much The Weeknd contributed to the album until a couple of years ago, and Drake was finally forced to give The Weeknd the credit that he deserved. Anywho, Drake and The Weeknd continued to do their thing. At this point, Drake was already talking about signing The Weeknd to OVO label because he knew that The Weeknd was going to make him millions of dollars. But as it turns out, The Weeknd was quite smart, and he was keeping his eyes open and watching how things worked at OVO. He noticed that none of the artists that Drake signed achieved mainstream popularity or were successful with their careers. This is a pretty common phenomenon when you sign to an artist who has an active career of their own. Juggling a career is hard enough, but juggling a career while trying to build a career for a mentee is very hard, and very few celebs have managed to do that. For example, take a look at Beyonce. She has her own label and has also signed many artists as well. But apart from the Bailey sisters, none of Beyonce's other signees are successful. And even with the Bailey sisters, their music isn't selling as it should. For example, Chloe's debut album only sold 10,000 copies in the first week and peaked at number 119 on the Billboard Hot 200, which is low for an artist with Beyonce's backing. Also, even though Holly's solo songs are quite popular, she doesn't have a solo song on the main Billboard Hot 100 chart yet. She has some entries on other Billboard charts, just not the major ones. This is just weird considering that she has a large following on social media and is quite popular. But again, she is signed to Beyonce, who is an active artist who has her own career to focus on and can't give the Bailey sisters the support they need. The Weeknd knew that this was going to happen to him with Drake and his OVO label, so he decided not to sign with OVO. Instead, he signed with Republic Records in 2012 and he was able to grow his career. However, Drake was salty over this because he believes that The Weeknd owes him for the free publicity that he gave him early on in his career. Shortly after it was announced that The Weeknd was joining Republic, he tweeted, you won't get away with just a thank you, you owe me a favor. The tweet also came days after The Weeknd publicly thanked Drake for helping him with his career. But Drake was not here for this because he was already banking on making millions of dollars from The Weeknd. He then decided to act petty and when The Weeknd broke up with his girlfriend, Bella Hadid, Drake immediately made moves on Bella and there were rumors of them dating at a point. It was clear that he was only after Bella to get The Weeknd's attention and he even made a song about the situation called Finesse where he said, I want my baby to have your eyes. I'm going against my own advice. Should I do New York? I can't decide. Fashion Week is more your thing than mine. I can't even lie. I'd rather stay inside. The Weeknd caught this shade and he replied in the song Lost in the Fire where he threw insane shade at Drake. He said, and I just want a baby with the right one because I could never be the one to hide one. 
This was clearly a dig at the fact that Drake hid his son Adonis from the world and only came out to admit it because Pusha T outed him during their beef. Well, they continued to beef with each other even though they pretended to be on good terms with each other. But if you've had your ears tuned into the gossip, then you'll know that these two have been acting super duper shady toward each other for years. It eventually blew up a couple of weeks ago when The Weeknd jumped on the album We Still Don't Trust You with ASAP Rocky, Metro Boomin, and Future. The wild thing is that all four of them have beef with Drake and according to Metro, Drake tried to block the song from getting released. Metro tweeted, I'm lame but the first week after like that, you tried to block it on the radio. I've been sitting on this email for a month now but was sparing you. Oh, you ain't like that record? He also hinted that he has some heavy tea on Drake saying, now go make another song telling more lies cause we both know you can't tell everyone why I don't F with you. That wouldn't be a good look either for you so I'ma spare us both with that. On the song All To Myself, The Weeknd hinted that Drake allegedly tried to give him a very bad contract when he wanted to sign him to OVO back in the day. He said, look at how we moving baby. They could never diss my brothers baby. When they got leaks in their operation, I thank God that I never signed my life away and we never do the big talk. Well, not long after this track dropped, there was a mysterious shooting in the home of The Weeknd's manager Cash. Anyone who knows The Weeknd knows Cash because they go back a long, long way. Even though Cash wasn't hurt, a security guard was hit and was rushed to the hospital. The police released a statement that said the victim, male black 37 years old, was inside a guard shack when he heard several and discovered he had been struck. The suspects, three male, no further details, fled from the location. LAFD responded and transported the victim to a local hospital in unknown condition. 17500 block of Jaden Lane, Road 1067, April 29, 2024, at 0225 hours. It was referred to as a home invasion, but the streets believe that it wasn't no ordinary invasion, but an ordered hit. We're following breaking news. A security guard has been shot in Encino, and we now know the home has ties to the artist The Weeknd. Scott Reif live in Air 7 HD with details. Scott. Yep, Rachel, this is the home in question. Now, you see the emblem there on the basketball court. That's a record label of the weekend. And then you see the guard shack. You see a, a chair that's uh, uh, toppled over. And then you see what appear to be evidence markers. Those could be shell casings. We don't know for sure. We can't tell with our camera. But we can tell they're investigating in the back of the home. LAPD officers are here. About 2.45 this morning, uh, there was a security guard was transported condition is unknown so it's unclear right now if the security guard was shot during some sort of attempted robbery or burglary into the home or if that security guard uh, had been targeted here we'll open up a little bit out show you it's reportedly a 12 million dollar home that is believed to be owned by a music industry executive with ties to the weekend well what would you know less than two weeks later drake's house in toronto was hit and what is being referred to as a drive-by interestingly a security guard was also kind of similar to what happened on the weekend's turf. It's kind of given an eye for an eye. At first, people pointed fingers at Kendrick Lamar and accused him of being the hit. To be fair, this wasn't a wild allegation because Drake and Kendrick are currently in the middle of one of the hottest and nastiest rap beefs in recent time. Police confirming a sh occurred outside the home of Canadian rapper Drake in Toronto. This happening overnight in the wake of an escalating beef between Drake and hip hop star Kendrick Lamar. This is the scene outside of Drake's home in the city's Bridal Path neighborhood. Courtesy of our CTV News Chopper, police say a man sustained serious injuries after outside that home and was taken to hospital. Police also say a suspect fled in a vehicle, but no description has been released. So far, there's no word on whether Drake was at home at the time of the but we understand from police that he has offered to fully cooperate. But it was quickly proved that Kendrick knew nothing about the beef and all fingers immediately pointed to the weekend as a sort of revenge for the situation at Cash's house. And it looks like Drake knows this as well because word on the streets is that he is allegedly in talks with his lawyers to file a lawsuit against the weekend and also push the police into filing criminal charges against him. However, the weekend is not having this and allegedly he sent a warning to Drake to shut his mouth or there would be dire consequences for that. Allegedly, there is more to come, and unless Drake keeps his mouth shut and behaves, he is going to find out just how gangster the weekend can be. Like I said, it's the quiet ones you gotta watch out for. Fans commented, the funniest thing about this UMG situation, Drake and Kendrick is over, but a bigger storm may be cooking up with Drake and the weekend. And it's gonna be 10 times more damaging since they not only on the same parent company, but they on the same subsidiary. F Drake versus K Dot, Drake versus the weekend is where it gets messy. And what if the person Drake should be scared of more than? than anyone.
well if you love this video don't forget to click the subscribe button and like button subscribe and like for a cookie yeah see you in the next video